Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So, we're going to be clearing Azazel. This is going to be stage or level 17. Um, and let's see the lineup that I have and also the gear for this lineup. Okie dokie. So, for the equipment, let's start off with uh, Zarola here. So, again, she has ultimate set, defensive set, and for her badge is end time ultimate badge. Next up is going to be Zephyr. So she has all HP uh, sets. Then you have here um, her badge, which is Eternal Eden badge. And she also has an adornment, by the way, uh, way back from the Christmas event. Next off is going to be Zerola. So she has ultimate um, gear set. Then she has, this is going to be a critical set. Then she has for her badge, Eternal Starlight Badge. Okay, next up is going to be Megan down below. So Megan um, has ultimate set as well. She has a heal set to, to increase the shield effect that she gives to herself. Then she also has this the uh, Eternal Glory Badge it's for her survivability. Okay, so moving on to the others that I have used. Um, going past it. So you have here Ayane Okada. So for Ayane, for her survivability, she needs to have um, lifesteal set and, of course, her defense set. So for her, um, what they call this, for her badge, she needs Eternal Midsummer to increase her accuracy to um, have more consistent or higher percentage uh, of freeze or frost for her enemies. Then you have Crucis here with lifesteal set as well. Then uh, he has a defensive set and uh, eternal glory badge, same as Megan. Okay, so moving on to the others, I have Usuki here. So Usuki has an attack set plus a defensive set, and his um, what do you call this? His badge is end time frost badge. So this. Uh, gives additional damage by 18% against enemies that are frosted. Okay, who are the others that I brought? Zuki Liang is uh, going to be using an attack set, as you can see here. Then this is going to be a crit set. Then for his um, badge, it, end time inferno badge would be good. So to boost damage against ignited figures. Okay, I forgot one. Um, the uh, the last one is going to be Mako. So for Mako, it's also an HP set similar to Zephyr and Eternal Eden badge as well. So that's it, guys, for the for the gear sets for the figures for this battle. Okay, so this is your formation for the battle. Um, we're gonna be discussing what are the roles and how crucial they are as we start. Okay, so we have this lineup. Uh, up front, you have three defenders, so I'm happy that Ayane is actually uh, here so that I could have three defenders for this lineup. So Ayane up top for the defender, in the middle is Chrysos, and you have Megan, of course, at the bottom. So Ayane here is an additional um, frost or freeze for your opponents to delay them a bit. Then at her back is going to be Usuke, it's gonna give you, you know, a lot more. Uh, freeze or frost that delays as much as possible uh, round one is not that no it's not that hard so I don't expect any problems in round one okay on to round two Zerola by the way is the back of it's okay so you also have Va Vazerwin uh, as your other DPS then Zuki Liang in front of her then you have two healers okay and take note two healers Supporting your group, namely Mako and um, Zephyr. So again, also round two is not going to be that difficult. So the key here is clearing more or less round three and round four. Round three, the difficulty is actually average as well. The, the hardest stages are going to be your round four and five. So we're pretty much done with round two. We move on next to round three. Almost all HP intact. Then there we go. Okay, round three. 
this stage is actually going after your uh, squishiest heroes or figures at the back. So please do be careful. That is why I have two healers there to save them. I don't want to use um, the, the, the save one time from death by Zuki Liang. I don't want to use that at this point. It has to be used either... It has to be used in the fifth round. So for this round, you need to make sure that you have enough healing and the RNG for your healing should be superb. Round four is a bit tricky. The same strategy, you need to not use um, Zuki Liang's save. Just have to weather it through heals and through RNG. So again, so Mako, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So we're gonna be clearing round three. <clears throat> Okay, so on to round four. So right out of the gate, there you go. The bodyguards. You need to take out one, then freeze the other one. Um, supposed to be... But no. So it's okay. Um, most of them survive, so that is the point. You need to kill one and take the damage from the other one. So... Most probably, we're going to be surviving this. Um, Sarola actually took a big hit. So as long as she survives this one, I don't think we will have a problem with round 5. So hopefully, she doesn't take a massive hit for round uh, 5. Because she's my biggest DPSer. So again, very crucial save there from uh, Zuki Liang. So this is the last round, guys. We need to weather a lot of... Uh, so, Zarola needs to pick off a lot on her row for her to survive. So, two more come in. So, so far, health is good. I'm watching for Zarola so that she, she doesn't get one hit. And hopefully, she survives this. Because definitely, this is going to be a challenge if she's going to die. So, I'm watching Zarola's, uh, Zarola's uh, row right now. The rest... Mega's row is also threatening her. So we are we have to weather this one till the end. So Zoro's row is, row is actually gone. So we have a few more rows to to take apart. So as long as we could weather this, I think we will be fine. So the bottom row is gone. But uh, hopefully we can still clear this with the remaining heroes that I or figures that I have. So so far I need Zarola to save us from this, and this is actually a nail biter, guys. So hopefully I could uh, take out the one that has bunny ears. I okay. So there you go. So two more figures or enemies to take out and i think this is going to be doable guys two more bosses crucius is out i need one more big push from zarola um that's it i think this is doable already i have two healers oh i i spoke too soon but definitely i'm gonna be clearing this so hopefully guys you have the same pattern or better finish than me I'm down to 20 seconds, then it's a perfect clear. So there you go, guys. So again, what I did with this lineup is I swapped out Osuke. I swapped out uh, Mako for Osuke, and it, he worked perfectly in slowing a uh, few enemies. Uh, and especially for waves 4, no, 3, 4, 5. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. So this is my lineup. So hopefully this helped you in building your own lineup or probably using this existing lineup that I have. So thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.